a tough one to take, Tom. After getting our noses in front, couldn't quite see the game through. Yeah, um, yeah, t tough result for us. Um, we, we we were a tired group tonight. Like the the, the the game we've had to play in on on Saturday has has sapped us. Obviously, a few lads that are playing with with Knox tonight, and um, you could just see it in us. Like we had to drag it out of ourselves, and because because we're such an honest group. Like the lads gave it so much in the first half and it was a brilliant first half performance um, and we deserved to be in front but we just didn't have the legs in the end just to keep those levels up like these have got some threats the number nine's a very good player and he and um, just got he ended up a little bit too close to our goal because we just couldn't get them out and we couldn't go and affect the ball higher up the pitch so we, we were a tired group everyone's every time the ball goes out people are stretching and the lads have just got got through the game tonight with with how they're feeling because that was um yeah, Saturday's just just sucked the life out of us a little bit. Um, still the same thing though. Like we've had opportunities to go two 0 and and we've got to get better at that. Like that's how we, we, we'll um, pick some more wins up because we keep getting one nil in front, which keeps starting fast. We, we seem to be good at that. Um, it's those that, building blocks, isn't it? It's putting the next one on, and that, a second goal probably would have killed them today. Yeah, and we've, with we've, our we've had the opportunity with the, the header at the back post and. Um, we've got Keeper's made a brilliant save with that one, hasn't he? Yeah, we, then he's saved a free kick from Brad before he's gone off with a knock. Yeah, and that's probably we, we probably emptied the tank in the first 45 minutes, and we just we we were you could sense something was was coming. Um, I want us to be more dominant in the penalty area. Something we've got to get better at, um, and we've got to be like, people have got to want to head the ball rather than have to. Um, want to go and dominate stuff. So that's cost us. Um, the goal's a bit of a well, it's just complete. Bad luck, in it. Let's be honest. Like we tackled, yeah. we tackled, made a tackle in the middle of the pitch, and it's ended up rolling to their lad who stood in an offside position, and um, just a, just a bit of bad luck for the second goal. But they, they deserve to score Nantwich, and deserve to get something out of the game because they were well on top in the second half. But um, it's yeah, no panic stations. Like with the, the, the lads, the the application is is superb, and whilst that stays at that level, we'll we'll pick plenty of points up in the next 17 games, and. Um, We've got to just be a team now that we've got what, we've got those 17 opportunities to, to win three points. Make sure we're content at full time every week that we that we've give our lot with our commitment and concentration. Um, and then whatever the result may be at that point, we skip on to the next game and and, and be ready for that. And um, yeah, we, we we'll take keep learning as as we go along. Um, we we, we uh, I think we deserve to lose that football match, but you could see that we were we were a tired football team after what we went through on Saturday. So um, we've just got to get everybody, as many people at the best level of fitness we possibly can for a, a, a game at, at home against a, a talented Baseford side. But we know what we're capable of on our home patch. What sort of preparation does that look like to get a side ready after two games in 72 hours to get them ready for the next one? Yeah, there, there'll be different pathways for different players, those that have played Two ninety minutes or, or a lot of minutes, we'll, we'll look after them on Thursday. And some lads need a bit need a bit of work from a layoff through illness or injury. We'll, we'll get them in, hopefully in the best place physically for um, Saturday that, that that's possible. And, um, yeah, we, we that'll sting a bit. Like you can see, the dressing room stings that one uh, team that's below us and, and, and trying to chase us and drag us into the stuff, and, and they beat us two one. So. We won't ignore the fact that we've lost tonight, but we, we will make sure come Thursday night when we're back together that we're, that we're, we're preparing for the next one and, and um, trying to get ourselves in the best place possible. And home comforts, look to make the pitch as big as we can and take it to, like you say, a talented Baseford side. Yeah, Baseford have got some very good players um, and we know that will be a tough game. They've not been in brilliant form um, them, themselves. They've got a change in their management team, which normally gives them a bit of a bounce, but we'll be ready for them and, and, and you're spot on. Like at home, we. We play with with confidence, and um, we'll, we'll, we'll try and put our put our print on that football match as, as quickly as possible, and, and get in charge of it. Cheers, Tom. Cheers, Rob. Have a good week.